Let's transition to Saturday. You mentioned the Xfinity Series race. John Hunter Nemechek put on a clinic, dominated the race, and afterward we all saw a spectacular burnout, lots of fire that came from that race car. So the question that we have, Elton, when a car does that and you see that fiery burnout, how does a car like that get through post-race inspection? What kind of challenge does that give you to inspect that car afterward? Um, there, there is some challenges, but for the most part, you know, you put another set of tires on it, um, you roll it through the height sticks, and, and you look at it, and you take all that in consideration. You know, celebrations, you know, post-race have become something that our fans and our drivers, I mean, when you win a, a national series race, a, a cup or Xfinity or Craftsman Truck Series race, it's a big deal. And and we're we want to see our drivers celebrate. We want to see them excited, the teams. Um, obviously doing that in a manner that is as safe as possible. And burnouts have become something in the um, the last four or five years that have been, you know, quite popular. So um, we have seen some cases, um, two recently, uh, one at Coda with the truck and obviously this past weekend with, uh, with John Hunter's car. And both of them were in cases where they pulled right up against the wall and just basically just burn it down literally almost but um yeah so we'll we'll take a look at that but on the on the flip side we want those guys to celebrate thought Kyle Larson's burnout on Sunday was great did a full lap um and everything still stayed intact so you know it's, every situation is a little bit different and uh, we'll just look at that to see if there's anything that we need to do going forward